In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about different keyboard shortcuts on the Mac operating system. Using keyboard shortcuts can be much faster once you get used to them than using mouse. So that is why they are important to use. I'm going to start with some simple ones such as Command Q. Command Q can be used to quit an open application. So let's open a web browser. And now to quit the application with mouse, you would have to go to File, I mean Chrome, and Quit, or you would have to right-click and quit. But with the keyboard shortcut, you can just hold the Command key, which is on the left side of the keyboard, and then tap the letter Q. I usually hold down the Command key with my thumb and you can use any other of the four fingers to tap the letter Q. This will close the application. You can also just close the current window in without quitting the application. This can be down, done by holding the command key and pressing W. To open a new window of the application you can use the command and letter N shortcut to open a new window. I usually hold the command key with my little finger and use the index finger to press N. This will open a new window. You can also use the shortcut command and letter M to minimize a window like that. To reopen the window you have to click on it. Another useful function is the command F button. When you use this in a browser, you can search for anything on the current open page. So for example, I can do command F. and then it will select all of the highlight all of the words that I contain the section I search for you can also use this in a word document or a PDF file to search for a specific word in the document however if you use command F while playing a video this will just turn it to full screen view. Another very useful function keyboard shortcut is the command tab. If you hold command key and then tap the tab, it will you can switch between the open applications. If you have many applications open and don't want to shuffle through all of them, you can use the expose function. This is by default set to the key F3. So when you press F3, it will display all of the windows you have open. And you can choose which one you want by either hovering over it and pressing F3 again or just simply by clicking at it. Another useful keyboard shortcut is pressing Alt Tab, I mean Alt T. This will open a new tab in your web browser. Or you can close them again by using the Command W shortcut. If you op want to open a new window, for the web browser you can again use command N which will open multiple windows if you use the command F button the shortcut in finder it will display a new finder window ready for you to search if you're inside a 
document you can use the you can use command and s to save the document or command and p this fun this keyboard shortcut is quite difficult because you have to reach over long distance to and this will open the print menu one of my favorite shortcuts is the screenshot shortcut this is done by holding down the command key and the shift key at once and then tapping the number three on top of the keyboard this will take screenshot of all of your current screens or you can use the you can own you can just take a section of your screen by pressing command by holding down command shift and then pressing number four this will change your cursor to a crosshair which would then you can select an area with your mouse and that will create a screenshot of just that one area Another useful keyboard shortcut is command and spacebar. So if you hold the command key and tap the spacebar, it will open Spotlight, which you can use to search for documents. Or you can also use the options space shortcut. Option is the key on the left side of the command button. If you do this, it will switch between the active keyboards you have. If you don't remember any keyboard shortcut, you can just look up here. And here you can see all of the different keyboard shortcuts. This symbol is for command, for example. And all of the shortcuts for the certain application are listed here. If you're still not sure, you can go to System Preferences. This can be either done if it's in the dock, or you can click on the Apple and System Preferences. Then click on Keyboard, and here Keyboard Shortcuts. Here you have all of the different keyboard shortcuts listed. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and that's it.